Hi everybody, my name is Brenna Mahiri and I chose to work with an agency called Children with Hair Loss. Um, this is a 501c3 nonprofit organization and it's located in Rockwood, Michigan, right around my hometown Southgate, around the Down River area. And it is established by the CEO founder herself that took me under her wing, Miss Regina Villamir. And she founded this in 2000 of September. And her own niece, Sarah, was actually detected with what is called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And that's how this all started. She went to the hospital one day and was walking down to go see her. And not only her niece has leukemia, but other patients that were around her as she was passing each room had wigs on that were bigger than their heads. She kind of thought about it and like put her cosmetology degree with it and was like, she can make something out of this. And which she totally did, because now she made a huge nonprofit organization with a motto explaining that they're covering young heads to heal young hearts. This nonprofit holds uh, fundraisers to raise money and to sustain and contribute uh, wigs to children under the age of 21 for medically related reasons. And I was fortunate enough to work with them on their uh, organization project which one of them is a golf scramble and um, I had to find participation and or like sponsorship that would help for their 15th annual golf scramble. Uh, I'm really excited about this because everyone's been working really hard on it, not only me. The people at Children with Hair Loss every year put a lot of time and effort to make sure that this is a great event and I'm happy to say this year all of the golfers that they got on their end has made a full house for this event. And I have also done a lot of crazy stuff for this fundraiser. And I was looking for auction items, raffle baskets, certificates, programs, cart sponsors, you name it. And I just really wanted to make this a fun, filled, and successful event for everyone. Uh, the community around Rockwood has also helped establish the fundraisers and donations by participating in the funding and donating for making the organization actually create support all around the United States. It used to just be around the Rockwood area, but now it's grown so big that they actually mail out wigs to people, and that's where a lot of the money comes from. And so they can create these wigs from, yes, people that donate the hair, but they have paid cosmetologists now that will make these wigs constantly so they can send them out to people and mail them but that's more of the cost itself is mailing them out and they also put like hair care products with these wigs and a mannequin little thing so they can put their wig on it if they're not wearing it and that's where really the money comes from but the um the hair really does impact these children and I personally decided to connect with this agency because they make children just feel so beautiful about themselves that actually are suffering from hair loss. And what really reeled me in was when I talked with the CEO, Regina, that I stated earlier. And when I came in to meet with her one-on-one, -on -one, she sat me down and the first question I asked her was, why did you start all this? And what she did was she just pulled out this box, like a shoe box, and she just opened it. And I was kind of confused at first, and I was like, oh, I don't know where this is going. But when she opened this box, all there was was nothing but letters from kids across America that were just stating how thankful and gracious they were for these wigs. And I know they're not finding research to find, like, help with the illnesses themselves or anything, but to see people and kids that are smiling that get these wigs and feel confidence in themselves with the hair that is made from children with hair loss, it really makes me feel so happy that they feel beautiful.